Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. My name is Gavin, this is GPTV and in today's video I'm going to show you how to clear all of the songs or all of the information that you have on your sound container in your Honda Internavi. The Honda Internavi is a head unit that came in a lot of Hondas that were imported from Japan. It has satellite navigation, it has Bluetooth hands-free, it has voice recognition, it has a hard drive sound container, it has TV. If you want to have the TV working in it, you need to get a TV aerial. This head unit can take up to about 120 albums or a couple of thousand songs. It has touchscreen navigation, which can only be used in Japan. You cannot change the maps in this to your own country. It will only work in Japan unless you get somebody to load new maps onto it. You will not be able to use this in your own country unless you're in Japan. You cannot change the language from Japanese to English or French or Spanish or whatever. You cannot change the language. Um, the only way you, you would be able to do it is if you get somebody to load new languages and new maps onto it. But it is only Japanese. Only Japanese maps, only Japanese uh, language. But what I'm here to teach you today is how to get into your sound container, how to delete all of the original songs or, or whoever's playlist that was in there beforehand and how to add new songs. Also if you'd like to check out these two videos that I've made on this head unit, how to set your Bluetooth hands free and the secret menus so you can change your time. Before I go any further can I just ask you to please like the video, please subscribe, please comment and when you do subscribe make sure you turn on the notification bell so you don't miss another video that I upload. If you could please like the video, that helps the algorithm know where to put this video in suggestions to other people that like this kind of content. Thank you for all your help and support and let's just get into the video. Now if you are unsure about what you're touching or what buttons you're pressing, you can always just use Google Translate and when you go in there, make sure you're translating from Japanese to English and then if you just press this camera button here and align it with any of the text, you will see that the text will change according to what it is that you want to um, translate. You see? I don't need Google Translate for this part here, so I'll show you what to do. First of all, press your source button and you'll see FM, AM, TV, sound container, CD, and this one here is your AUX input. What we're gonna do is we're gonna choose sound container. Now, now I have the volume all the way down because I don't want any copyright strikes. These are all of my these are all of my tracks that I have, have in my sound container. There's, as you can see here, I will just keep going all the way down and you will see there's, there's 144 albums in this head unit. Some of them are mine, some of them are my wife's. So your playlists are all of your albums and your tracks are whichever one you choose. So if I choose A Rush of Blood to the Head by Coldplay, then it will show me all of my track names. But while driving, these will disappear off the screen and you will just see it up here on the top. You won't see any of this, uh, any of the, the, the song names there. So this button down here, if you press that, it will bring you into this menu. You can create playlists, you can save your songs into different playlists and so on. But because you can't read Japanese, you there's no point in really making a playlist. And this button down here, if you press that, it will bring you into this. So in this menu, you can create your own playlist. You can delete one song or one track, or you can delete all of your tracks. If you press this one, it will ask you this. Do you want to erase all of your albums? This is erase all, this is no. I'm gonna press no because I do not want to erase all of them. But if you have one track that you do want to erase, it's this one here. So you can find the track. So I just wanna delete one track, right? And it's here down the end. No, oh, no, it's not here. Sorry, hold on. Playlist, playlist. There it is there. I want to delete this one. This just one track. I didn't have enough space on the sound container to to copy all of them, so I just had that one in there. That was my last CD. That's the last, the only song that would come off that CD. So I want to delete that one song. Well, what do I do? I press this button here again. So I get the one song that I want. Press this button, and it will. You go down to this one here and then choose the single track. Now it'll ask you if there was more, if there was more tracks here, it would ask you which ones, so select which ones you want to delete. I just want to delete that one. This basically says, do you want to delete uh, this track? Yes or no. Basically it says erase 
or do not. So this is erase. So I want to erase that track. So now that track will be gone off the list. And now that track is gone. So if I go back into my playlist, you will see that there is no longer a 144. It's now 143. So that's 143 CDs I have in this sound container. So now I want to add a CD. So I basically press that, press CD. Now I have a CD in here already, so I'm going to take that out. So basically now when I put this CD in, it will copy whatever is on this CD. And you will see a little blue circle with an R in the middle of it. If it goes red, it is copying. Do not eject the CD. So you just insert the CD, close the, the monitor down, and you will see it coming up now. It's looking for the information on the CD, and then it will come up with all the tracks. You should see a little blue or all the way down here, and if it starts to record it, it will go red. I hadn't got enough space on the sound container to record a new album, so I found a I found an album here that I don't want on the stereo. It's my wife's Fifty Shades of Grey soundtrack, and it's getting deleted because it's crap. Right, uh, the dirt is there. Listen, yeah, it's rubbish. It's getting deleted. So um, I'm going to delete that with this, and then with this. No, that's the wrong one. This, and then I choose the tracks that I want to delete. Yes, I want to delete that and let it do that for a second or two. Right, now um, it's moved everything up, so now there's 14 as you see here. So if I wanted to delete that one, press it, delete it, yes. So this is gonna take a while. I'm just gonna do this and fast forward and you'll see the end of it. I'm down to six, there's only a couple more to go. Delete, down to five. Seriously, 50 Shades of Grey, what? Why did my wife buy that soundtrack? Why did she buy that soundtrack? What, why would you want to... Like, why? Why? It's one of the worst movies I've ever seen. Why? Like, and they made three of them. Why would you want to listen to the soundtrack of Fifty Shades of Grey? Like, if anything, it's just the... Naked scenes in it that you want to watch. Not listen to the songs in it. It's terrible. And last one. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, I don't want to see you anymore. I don't want to hear you anymore, bye bye. And now we have space, yay. Okay, back into CD. There's no disc in there. Insert my disc. Close the face. This will pop up here now with a disc on it or it'll, it'll highlight. There we go. Now it's showing you the information for the disc. Now you can see that that number one is recording. Number two, number three, or number four, number five, they're all in the row to record next. So because I've cleared up that space on the sound container, I can now record this CD. It's an E17 CD. Now that one is recorded, and it's after jumping onto number two now. So it's 50 seconds per, per track, roughly. If I press this here, if I stop the recording there, right? Now there's only one CD that's, uh, there's only one track after being recorded, and the second track hasn't been recorded yet. So if I press this here, it gives me record settings. So if I go in here, it'll, you'll see now what I mean when I bring this up here. Automatically record when inserting a disc, manual while playing a disc, or automatically only the first song on the CD. If you want to automatically put in a CD and it will record straight away, that's the one that you press. If you want to put in a CD and manually decide if you want to record it or not, it's this one here. And if you want to put in a CD and record only the first song off that CD, it's this one here, okay? So you got to that menu through here. So you press this here, and then press this here, and it'll give you these three options. So record automatically when you put it in, record manually, so it'll ask you, do you want to record the CD, yes or no? And then this one here is just to record the first song off the, the album, okay? Now, this one here, it's, it's now stopped recording, so if I want to start the recording again, I just press this here, and that'll start the recording again. While we're waiting for this to record, this button here is all of your 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 bass, your treble, your fader, and your balance. So you can change all the, those if you wanted to. So let's say your bass, you want your bass up or down. 
and the same with the, the treble or the fader you can just change the, the speakers to whatever way you want them right so that is now recorded and it's going on to number three right so I've stopped the recording because I want to show you something else if you just want to if you don't want to record all of the tracks and you just want to record let's say one and two and you don't want to record three you don't want to record four but you do want to record five you press on number five press this press start recording and it will start recording number five and it will skip number three and four so now it's recording number five and it will continue to record until you press stop again so if I press stop it will stop recording that one it's it's actually number eight I want to record press that and then start recording number eight and now if you look there's the uh, there's the album that I just added on the CD there's all the songs on it I gotta put it on here and just like see there you go there's it's all added there E17's album is on it now remember there was 144 and then uh, I took that I deleted that and, and then I deleted one more as well so there 143 there you go that's how you erase all of the old um, songs or albums that are in the sound container that is how you put in a or delete just one album or one song off the sound container and then I showed you how to actually put an album in or put a CD in and copy that CD copy one track off that CD whatever way you want to do it because we all have an album or two that we just want one or two three songs off it let's say we want to copy an Eminem CD but you don't want to put in the the public service announcement part you can just take them out the skits you can take them out just by doing that way so you can record every song that you want rather than just the whole album I just wanted the whole albums because it was easier just to throw them all in put a CD in drive and let it record while you're driving you can listen to it while you're driving as well so that's why I've never changed this head unit even though it's in Japanese it's just so much easier to use than you would think and it has such a big sound container like I never really listen to the, the to the radio anymore I listen to the sound container most of the time or I connect up my phone to it and listen to the, the whatever tracks I have on my phone or if, if I'm watching a video or something like that I'll watch the video and connect the phone up to it but I think this is a fantastic head unit it really is if you can get around the Japanese translation it's a it's an absolutely fantastic head unit it's touchscreen it works fast the sound container itself in it is big enough um, there's not much else you need out of it there are many new head units out there now that you can bluetooth from your phone or you like android head units that can do so much but there's nothing wrong with this head unit i like it i, I do enjoy this head unit so that's why i haven't got rid of it i like it i do like the whole japanese feel of it and it's still a japanese stereo in a japanese car i love that i still have japanese stickers on this car i like that japanese feel off things and um, so i'm not getting rid of that stereo i like it the only issues that you may have are the Japanese frequencies for the for the radio go up to I think it's 89 FM that's the highest they go where in Ireland it starts at 88 FM and goes up to 107 FM so if I want to uh, access those uh, wavelengths well then I have to put in a band expander and that expands the band of frequency that that stereo can receive so basically you have to take the head unit out put a band expander onto the aerial and then put it all back in and you will get those st stations the only other thing is though that if you choose the fm stereo i could have this on 98 fm and it will always say 76 fm even though it's actually 98 fm because it has a band expander on it but the but the head unit doesn't realize that it's a different signal coming in so that's why you'll still see the 76 and 89 it's a bit complicated to get around this that's the only issue i'd have with this putting a band expander on is that when you put a band expander on it will give you 98 fm or 104 fm or whatever but it will always say the the lower frequencies on this main screen so you can't change these okay so i hope all that information was helpful for you and um, if there is any questions on it give us a call give us a give us a call yeah give us a call give us a text or oh god <laughs> give us a comment in the section down below and i'll try to answer any of your questions you have but um hopefully that's helped you out some way of trying to delete all your old stuff and add new stuff and whatever um please like the video thanks very much for watching see you later this